Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off, huh? Just waking up and I am staying right outside of Kruger Park and this is what it looks like. Feels like we are in the middle of nowhere or at least I'm in the middle of nowhere. I was told in the daytime it's safe to walk down this road. There is a little shop about one kilometer away. So I'm gonna go on a little adventure because last night I arrived here really, really late. Didn't have food. I was able to get cash from the ATM yesterday, but yes, all the shops are closed. So now I'm gonna go walk down to one of the shops, grab some food, go back to the hostel, make some food, and then figure out what I'm gonna do for today. Don't exactly think I'm gonna stay here because there's not that much to see here, honestly, unless you go to Kruger Park, and that was not my plan to go to Kruger Park. Kruger Park is one of the biggest wildlife reserves in the world, and I, I, it actually wasn't my plan to go, so I think I'm gonna keep traveling maybe towards Joburg, or maybe I'll have a chill day and an edit day here. I don't know, it's really early in the morning. I just woke up, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Let's get this video started. Looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't see any cars anywhere. Interesting, where am I? At least there's a paved road, so that tells me something. Please break for our snakes. Please break for us. Oh, this lets me know that there's crazy snakes that cross the road here. Okay, here we go, the Bush Center. <laughs> Lots of private security vehicles here. This is where all the shops are. It's kind of like a little, um, this is like a little shopping center area. Hopefully something's open because it's pretty early. It's about 8 a.m. I don't know if things open early around here. I know the sun rises around 5 a.m. A lot of people get up really early, so let's keep my fingers crossed. Maybe I can find some pasta or some noodles or some vegetables or, or something, some water. <laughs> I could definitely go for some water right now. Crazy thirsty. What is this, like a water park? Looks pretty cool. Oh, it looks like we got a shop. Let's go check it out. So that's the butcher shop over there. But here's the supermarket, cause I don't, I don't need to go to a butcher shop. Let's go check out this supermarket, yo. Oh, this is one interesting shop. I see that they have, um, they definitely have french fries. Big bag. French fries must be very popular here. Or chips, I should say. This is a pretty cool shop, man. This is pretty much what I've uh, found so far. Lots of uh, peanuts and raisins. Some, some chips, some sweet corn that I can boil, some noodles, two bottles of water, a Coca-Cola, of course, and a, a couple oranges out of the shop now and I just noticed this uh, Century, Century 21 sign. Let's check out some of these properties here. Huh, if you guys wanna do the math, you just um, divide this by 14 and that'll give you the, the price of how much these properties cost. Pretty interesting. <laughs> you wanna live in Kruger? <laughs> Honestly, I don't. <laughs> Insane, I'm walking down this road and there's like a freaking giraffe. It's really far away. I don't think you guys can see but it, it, a freaking giraffe like <laughs> What? Okay back here check out this little kitchen Let's uh figure out how to use this stove Make some food Bad news. I just found out that the only shuttle that leaves from here to go to Joburg left at 6 a.m. This morning and I was wide asleep well not wide asleep but i was in deep sleep so that means i'll have to go to Joburg tomorrow right when i woke up and like walked down to the shop i was thinking yo it may not be a bad idea to leave but it looks like i'll be here for the remainder of the day yeah that's not the end of the world we can explore this hot area right okay it's a little bit later and i thought that i would actually have a, a real meal because i found this restaurant and i they had pizza so i ordered a pizza and oh my gosh this pizza is not good at all 
I, I think I'll still finish it, but yeah, with french fries and a Coca-Cola. That's what I got going on right now. Look at this landscape. Looks completely different from Swaziland from a couple days ago. It's just all brush. It looks like stuff in California that could catch on fire easily. Just, just brush everywhere. Hopefully no wild animals pop out, come chase me. Well, check out this view. Let me fill you guys in. So, I was yesterday, because this is another day. Yesterday, my plan was to take the shuttle to Joburg, but that did not work out because the only shuttle left at 6 a.m. So, this morning, I woke up at around 5 a.m. I was still laying in bed because the shuttle was supposed to pick up at 6 a.m. The shuttle came at like 5.30. So I literally had to rush and grab everything, throw it in a blanket, get on the shuttle and take off. And now we are headed to Joburg. I haven't really vlogged because I was so tired this morning and I'm still super tired now because I really did not sleep much last night. But check out some of these epic views. Epic views. There's a little pit stop here and still got a long way to go to Joburg, a couple more hours. But for now, um, it's a little time to get out of the van and walk around, stretch your legs, do that sort of thing, and uh, yeah, let's go back inside. Okay, just arrived to the airport. I actually fell asleep. Right before I went to sleep, we had about an hour and 30 minutes before we arrived. And wow, that was a really, really good nap. Woke up really, really early this morning. Went to bed really, really late. It was one of those days. Wow, check out this Intercontinental. Yeah, welcome to the airport. Um, actually, this is not the place I wanted to go. I actually wanted to go to the city center, but, but from here I can take an Uber to the place I want to go. I'm so tired right now. Oh, let's keep this adventure going. <laughs> 